one. Um, so this is my run through uh, run through the second LAPC on uh, January 30th uh, for the VGC 2016 format. Um, yeah, so round one, I played David Scott, uh, known as Trolls McGee. Uh, his team was Xerneas, Smeargle, uh, Salamence, Crobat, Kangaskhan, and Grudon. And I, w and I brought the uh, same team that I that I've been using for the past like two weeks of uh, Xerneas, Ho Oh, uh, Kangaskhan, Landorus, Crobat, and Moongus. Uh, so this game, he had the. Uh, Obviously, he had the Smeargle uh, Xerneas going on, and Crobat Kangaskhan really puts an end to that. However, he did not lead that. He had that in the back, but he led uh, Grudon Salamence. So, uh, yeah. And I just brought Kangaskhan, Crobat, Ho Oh, and uh, Xerneas. Uh, so here I figured my best play is to just match his Tailwind because I figured that was special uh, Grudon and Tailwind Ments because that's how these teams normally work. And I figured like I could just play Ho-Oh as a, a strong win con and you're going to see throughout this tournament that I just continuously just play really uh, conservatively or uh, just let my mons die because I know Ho-Oh can just win the game. This happens like five times during the tournament, <laughs> and and the uh, Ho Owens. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve. He's gonna Mega Evolve as well, and uh, I pick out the Grudon. Don't want to take an eruption early, and uh, surprisingly, oh wait, no, I think he matches my Tailwind. Yeah, he's just gonna match the tailwind, which I expected, and I was more or less trying to match his tailwind so he wouldn't be uh, faster. And here I figured, uh, sorry, I'm gonna pause it for a second. Here I figured I could just uh, double up into this Grudon. Worst case scenario, I lose my King Scott, and I don't care about my mons. And uh, that's basically what happens: is I double up into Grudon, and I lose my King Scott, but it's okay because I don't care about my mons. Uh, so here I just want to do uh, let. Uh, let this eruption do as little as possible. So I try super fanging and uh, sucker punching it. But he uh, is going to read that and just switch out into the Xerneas. But I am going to get the super fang off which is nice. Um, which is like that's actually really important because uh, my Xerneas is going to be able to come in and just dazzling gleam. Uh, so it's 4-3, but it's going to be 3-2 pretty quickly because uh, Xerneas just comes in and uh, it's just going to be a super fang on the Xerneas, his Xerneas, and then I can just dazzle and gleam and kill both of them. I guess this was sort of a speed tie if he was timid. Um, but I, I guess we'll never know. Uh, Dazzling Gleam is going to pick up the knockout, and uh, basically that Salamence was the only thing that could threaten my Ho-Oh. So this next turn, I make a little bit of a misplay, uh, and I figure he's either gonna fake out or dark void. And either way, I could just like tailwind. I don't know why I clicked tailwind. I could have just clicked taunt, cause I am lumbar crobat. So I, I just clicked tailwind. I should have just clicked taunt, uh, but I guess it doesn't matter. It won't matter in the end. Spoiler alert: I win the game. Uh, ho, oh, it's just too good. Uh, so I set up a tailwind stupid of me I know I could have just taunted and won the game right there <sighs> but I'm not very good at this game and he is gonna get the evasiveness boost which really sucks so here I try super fanging the Grudon just in case he did go for dark void like his worst case scenario I would would attack that but in retrospect I should have just gone for cross poison cuz uh, that super fang miss is going to be really important. Uh, as I'm not able to break get sashing, uh, he's going to make it a 2-1. Luckily, I am under Tailwind. And nothing was put to sleep. So I go into my Ho-Oh. And uh, I should be able to just win the game. I have two turns of Tailwind left, so he's got to get a double protect with that smear goal. And uh, I go for Brave Bird just uh, because Sacred Fire doesn't have perfect accuracy. At this point now, it's Brave Bird, but Brave Bird knocks it out anyways. And he reveals a King Shield, which is actually going to lower my attack, but that's not going to really be a biggie. 
Uh, luckily it doesn't get speed and Brave Bird comes out so I don't get hexed out and I'm able to just uh, kill this miracle. By the way, I'm just going to put all these uh, videos in one. Uh, all of my Swiss round videos. As my tailwind's gonna uh, peter out, so I just go for a tailwind again this turn, because uh, I figure I can be just I can just be faster and I can recover if things get uh, hairy, uh, which is like fine. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just playing at this point to keep myself from screwing up, and then I do get a crit, which just speeds game the the game along, because like like this game, there's no way he was winning this game. He gets a crit too, so I guess it doesn't matter in the end. Um, and uh, he's going to protect, as I'm just going to recover up. Uh, don't want to lose too much HP, plus I figured he might protect to try to stall out my tier 1 turns. Uh, and that would be kind of bad. I don't, I don't know. And that's just going to be game. Uh, anyway, so next game, uh, I apologize for the quality change. I don't know why I got so bad so quickly. Uh, my camera just has a terrible time focusing. Anyways, the next game was round 2 versus Sean Wen. Uh, he had a cool team of Garchomp, Thunderous, uh, Leopard, Metagross, uh, Giratina Origin, and Kyogre. Uh, and I just brought Kangaskhan Xerneas because like, I have a really bad matchup versus Kyogre. Um, so Kangaskhan Xerneas is just going to be like, that's my only way ever to beat Kyogre teams. Um... And then I just have a Moongus in the back for uh, Xerneas support. And then I just have a Landorus uh, to beat the Metagross uh, under Rain. Um, yeah, that quality is terrible. I'm going to have to commentate this game. Uh, anyway, so I lead Kangaskhan Xerneas uh, against his uh, Kyogre and Thunderous. In this play, I just go for the Protect Fake Out, and I know that sounds silly, and usually shouldn't do that, don't usually do that, but I didn't want to, uh, risk being just, like, killed right off the bat, uh, based on a speed tie, so I, I just did this, as he is going to reveal Taunt Thunderous. Spoiler alert. Uh, I want to know at this point, by the way. Uh, so I just Protect to avoid getting Thunder Waved or Taunted. And I fake out to get the speed boost safely. Oh, well, semi-safely. He could have still thunder waved my Kangaskhan, but that would have been, like, a bit much. So here, I make a really risky play, and I just double edge the Kyogre and Geomancy, because the worst case scenario is, like, I get a parried uh, Xerneas, but I take out his Primo, or, uh, I don't know. Or I would have a slow Kangaskhan and a plus two Xerneas, which is terrible. Uh, you'd never want plus two Xerneas on your side. Uh, so I just go ahead and Geomancy up plus double edge. Um, he is going to get the protect off, which is fine. And I'm just going to get the Geomancy up uh, into the Thunder Wave on the Xerneas. Um, I guess he could have taunted. Uh, and, you know, like, then he would have lost his Kyogre next turn, so that's no big deal. And uh, here I just Dazzling Gleam plus Double Edge uh, in case he decides to bring in Grudon on this uh, Kyogre slot. And he does fail to double protect. And uh, he actually did go for an attack with Thunderous. I guess he didn't want to go for like a Thunder Wave. But that's fine because he is going to just get the Paralysis with Thunder. So I guess you don't need to click Thunder Wave. And uh, Dazzling Gleam is actually not going to be able to pick up the Oko, which is kind of unfortunate as he reveals the Citrus Berry. Uh, so he goes into Metagross, which is a big problem for me. Uh, so I have to protect Xerneas and just go into my uh, Amoongus. And I basically just have to keep cycling Amoongus and Kangaskhan's Fake Out. Um, but he is going to have Lightboard in the back, which is a real. Uh, which is going to prove to be a bit difficult for me to deal with. Uh, but yeah, I, I am running Citrus and Moongus. I'm going to change that to Mental Herb, uh, like ASAP. Uh, also, another thing I learned, actually I'll talk about what I learned afterwards. Uh, he's going to taunt the Amoongus and protect the Metagross. I don't really care. I'm going to clean up this Thunderous. 
And the next turn, I'm gonna have to protect and go into, uh... I was thinking, okay, here, so I'm thinking, like, I have to protect and go into Kangaskhan, but then he goes into Liopard, and that would be really bad news. So I actually go into, uh, Landorus to avoid getting Encored, uh, into my Protect, and also to lower this Metagross's attack stat, so I can actually just, uh, live that Iron Head, and hope that he didn't fake out me. It does go for the Encore on the off chance that I try to break his, uh, Liopard stash. Uh, with the Amoongus. But there's not really a point for me to do that, and I'm just gonna dazzle and gleam and uh, break its sash that way, and do a decent amount of damage to Metagross. Uh, he's gonna Iron Head kill my Xerneas, but at this point it doesn't really matter because then I can just Earth Power his Metagross with my uh, Life Four Blander's T. And then he has a like a dying Liopard versus this Landorus T. This Kang is gone, and this Amoongus all with attacks. So it's not like that he has any chance of winning, especially since this Rage Powder comes out. And the Foul Play does like zero. And Earth Power is just going to kill, so that's game two, uh, or round two. And at this point, I'm 2-0. Uh, there are five rounds, by the way. And uh, so this round, I'm playing uh, Gavin Michaels, uh, former former world, uh, not world, uh, national champion, uh, and I was sort of nervous at first, um, and I do play really terribly uh, this game. Not gonna lie, like I should have lost this game turn one, but I turned it around, and then I got really lucky at the end. Uh, well, spoiler alert, I won this game. Uh, he had a team of uh, Primal Groudon, Amoongus, Ferrothorn, Thunderous, uh, Salamence, and Kyogre. So he had the double Primal uh, plus Salamence going on there. Um, and then he just had sort of like random things uh, to beat. Probably probably just to counter things. Um, it definitely looks like an anti-mana team with a Tailwind Mence. Uh, Tailwind Mence because you could just Tailwind up for your... Uh, for your primals so they can sweep and then just have your fire thorn uh to stop any Xerneas's, i guess um it's a cool team a little uh i guess it's it's not ho a -Oh week but i brought ho o -Oh, kangaskhan Xerneas, and lander's t uh literally zero of those mons want to deal with this team uh i i don't know anyway so let's get into the battle Uh, so he's going to lead uh, Salamence Ferrothorn, and I'm really used to having a plus 2 Xerneas just like right off the bat. So I just Moonblast and low kick into this Ferrothorn, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is totally going to kill. Spoiler alert, it does like 0, and uh, I, I basically lose uh, 2 of my Mons this turn. Uh, as he's just going to double edge into my Kangaskhan with his Salamence, and he's gyro ball for the kill. On to my uh, Zerno. I guess a switch into Lander's T would have been nice here. Uh, as I Moonblast, uh, is gonna do like zero. Like that, that has to be like 20%. I do get a special attack drop, which is gonna be crucial in the rest of the game. I uh, like that special drop, attack drop, 10% chance. Uh, that's, that's really gonna hurt, uh, Gavin this game. As he is just gonna Oko my Xerneas. I was a bit surprised. I thought he was choice banded because I didn't know that Oko. Uh, I thought he had to be boosted. Anyway, so I go into my Landorus T and my Ho Oh, and I figure the only way for me to win is to protect with Landorus and just Tailwind with Ho Oh. Uh, as he is going to protect with uh, the Salamence, I think baiting out the Rock Slide or Scarf Rock Slide. But I'm just going to set up a Tailwind, and uh, he's going to Gyro Ball, which is going to do nothing to, into my Protect. And now I have uh, three turns to wreak havoc with my Hidden Power Ice uh, Lander's T, which is just going to kill the uh, Salamence, and ho is going to kill this Ferrothorn. So I turn this game around really quickly, and I go from a really drastic 2-4 position, into, uh, and I just put it back into a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, it does have double Primal in the back. Which is fine as long as it's physical Groudon and your Kyogre is lower, which he 
he does do. So here I make a hard read, by the way. Uh, and since, like, I need to kill this uh, Kyogre, and since I figured he'd want to protect his threats, I don't attack it, and I just go ahead and attack the Groudon, uh, figuring it'd probably be a physical Groudon, uh, seeing as to how it's a double primal team, and just probably carries a rock move and would uh, dunk my Ho-Oh. Uh, and I do make the read right, as he does protect his threat, and uh, I just go for the earth power. But here, like, it's not really gonna matter because I really need a miss onto the Landorus in order to win this game. Um, and like, that's the only way I can win, really, is right here to get a miss. All right, for him to miss Origin Pulse. So I'm gonna earth power, does zero. Or, well, it does like 30. And then Brave Bird's gonna do enough for Earth Power to kill afterwards. And then uh, Lucky and Bad Nido. Uh, yeah, Nido Russ is known to be Lucky and Bad, and he's actually just gonna dodge this Origin Pulse. Uh, sorry, Gavin. Um, and so that's just gonna be the game. Um, as uh, Nido Russ gets lucky once again. So that was game three. So now I'm uh, three and zero, oh, and very likely to cut. But this uh, next game will guarantee my cut. Uh, this game, just a little warning, is I I get a really early lead, and so I just sort of like shrug it off, and I, I pretty much play the rest of the game like trying to get my ho oh in, and I almost lose. Um, I mean, I guess it was a 10% chance for me to lose, so I guess I didn't almost lose, but I, I consider a 10% chance as almost losing. <laughs> I, I I lose to those kinds of things too much. Uh, so anyways, I played Angel Gorosko. He was also 3-0 if I remember correctly. Uh, he had a cool team of Kangaskhan, Thunderous, uh, Rayquaza, Aegislash, Greninja, and Kirim White. Uh, little anti-meta, little very anti-meta. Um, and I decided to like Kang Xerneas, just kind of steamroll through his team. He has three Xerneas weeks. And I just have both of the things that can duke uh, Aegislash in the back. Um, yeah, I don't know why the quality shifts from good to bad to good to bad. But he's going to lead Greninja Rayquaza. And I'm just going to lead Kangaskhan uh, Xerneas. And here I figure like... Well, Xerneas is faster than this Rayquaza right now, so I can just fake out the Greninja to stop any, like, Gunk Shot or whatever. And then just go for a Dazzling Gleam and kill them both. Uh, no biggie. Like, I don't need to Geomancy here, so I don't. Like, even if you have a chance to Geomancy, it doesn't mean you should automatically click Geomancy. As it does protect Rayquaza to get the speed boost, which is like really nice for me because it's just going to be a free kill. Like, because I don't think uh, Dazzling Gleam kills the uh, Rayquaza, so he could have easily just killed my Kang. Uh, which would have been a plus trade for me anyways. So he goes into Aegislash, uh, so I switch out into my Landorus. I uh, try to intimidate it. As well as intimidate this uh, Rayquaza so it doesn't kill my Dragon Ascent, so I can just double edge it. But I actually turn out to be faster, so that's not gonna be that's like not even gonna be relevant. As I am just gonna kill the Rayquaza, and so I'm at a very early lead. And uh, with what he brings out now, you're gonna see that uh, like he's gonna bring out his Kerm White it's Scarf, and uh, that can't kill a Ho Oh. And uh, here I should have low kicked. I didn't know how heavy this thing was, so I figured double edge might have just killed. It doesn't just kill, and uh, I regret not just low kicking because low kicking would have just won. Uh, but yeah, I double edged, and it's gonna leave it like basically dead, but not quite dead. As he is just gonna iron head. No biggie. Uh, so I go into my Ho-Oh, uh, that pretty much just 1v2s this whole game, and then there's a Xerneas on my side as well, just to clear out this, uh, uh, this Kyurem White. 
Uh, so he goes ahead and he just king shields. Like, I ain't got nothing on that. Uh, he ice beams my ho oh. Uh, and he's actually gonna get the freeze, but luckily I actually click sacred fire this turn So like it's not gonna make a difference And I'm just gonna move blast that uh, So that was definitely in favor of my me because I'm able to click or kill off a threat Here I should have just protected Xerneas to draw out the shield form or sword form, but he might have just been sub so you know, I just go for the moon blast once again does nothing to the steel type and the sacred fire is not gonna kill <laughs> I'm tired of Xerneas not doing anything. I'm gonna run Mana Xerneas with him power ground after this, spoiler alert. Um, as he's just gonna change uh, form, he's gonna click Iron Head. Uh, that's just gonna kill because he has his weakness policy activated for my sake of fire, not killing and not burning. Uh, but luckily, here I don't miss the Sacred Fire and he doesn't play any like crappy King Shield game because he knows like like the Sacred Fire is coming out eventually. Uh, I hate it when people try to King Shield when their Aegis Slash is basically dead. Uh, anyway, so good game to Angel. Uh, at this point I'm 4-0 and I could care less about my next game because I'm guaranteed top cut. And actually it turns out that I'm guaranteed top seed too so I'm guaranteed to be number one. Um, uh, so that's nice. Round 5 I play Kyle Hudson and I don't really play much into this game. Like I don't even think I should commentate it. Uh, he had a team of Kangaskhan, Groudon, uh, Crobat, Heatran, Ferrothorn, and Mewtwo. Uh, I didn't know, I thought Mewtwo might have been a Mega, but it's actually like Warp 3 attacks which is like cool too. Like I don't know, Mewtwo's kind of bad in my opinion, but he he beats me with it. Spoiler alert, he beats me with it uh, because, like, I wasn't going to. I, I was thinking more about Top Cut this game. Uh, I wasn't really thinking about the game itself. Uh, yeah. So, you guys get to watch this team finally get beaten, I guess. Uh, that's a treat. That doesn't normally happen. <laughs> As he's just gonna taunt. Um, like, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I don't fall for it though, and I just go ahead and super fang the crowbat. I have had better ideas. And then, like, ho oh comes in. I uh, try to soak up the Scythe Beam. It does soak it up, but I wasn't expecting him to just super fang, uh, super fang strike strike. Well, I was kind of, I was half expecting this attack, this move, uh, the super fang strike, Scythe strike. But, like, I didn't care. Honestly, it's pretty mond out at this point, and like, there was no point in me even trying to win this match. So, uh, yeah. I go ahead and make a Kangaskhan. Like, uh, and he's just gonna quick guard, which is fine. Like, I didn't need to click Sucker Punch 17,000 times, but I did. As he's just gonna kill my crowbat, like Mewtwo's cool. And then at this point I guess I could have like protected Landorus in return or double edged the uh, Mewtwo to try to get out of it, but he also brought the Heatran and the Grudon, so after that he could have just uh tailwind it up with uh, the crowbat and protected and then just swept. So like there was no point in me to even like doing that and I'm just gonna forfeit uh, anyways so that was my Swiss I ended up four and one uh, top seed so first seed um, and it was fun uh, I definitely think that like well actually later in top cut I'm gonna wish I had scrappy but I definitely feel like uh, the biggest change I would make uh, it were, would have made was a mental herb on a uh, Moongus because citrus berry does nothing uh, I mean, I guess it helps against Kangaskhan, but, like, that's not even really a problem. Uh, anyways, as usual, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, see ya.